As a psychologist, I'm always thinking about the conditions of well-being for ourselves and others. And I believe that compassion is a key condition. Compassion differs from empathy alone in that compassion includes a desire to help, and through this desire invokes feelings of strength and courage and joy. Compassion practices often include things like meditating on the suffering and well-being of others or considering the struggles of those that we encounter on a daily basis. And I know that thinking about suffering all the time seems really depressing, but neuroscientific research is actually showing that compassion practices appear to increase activity in areas of the brain associated with happiness while simultaneously decreasing activity in areas of the brain associated with depression. At the same time, compassion motivates us to attend to the well-being of others and fight for a more just world. I believe that the science of compassion supports the ethos of Prescott College. Our well-being really is inseparable from the well-being of others. Compassion motivates ethical action while at the same time giving us the strength and the joy to continue to face the challenges of our world. For these reasons, I include compassion building practices and activities in all of the courses that I teach at Prescott College.